Okay, so here's how I would make hair. The best way to make hair is to use the, um, and why are my tools missing? Oh, jeez. I, I should have just stayed home today. There we go. Is to use the pencil tool and draw a bunch of lines, making sure that they are not straight lines, but a little wiggly. Wiggly, is that a word? Wiggly? Like that. You know, kind of wiggly like that. Wiggly. Oops, not like that. Uh, I'm going to un unselect so it doesn't keep selected. There we go. Okay, so I made a bunch of lines, and I'm going to have no fill, no fill, and just lines, and then I'm going to color these each line a little bit different. So I'm going to color them kind of a brown, maybe a, a dark. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Okay, what makes nice hair is contrast. So um, keeping some dark and light colors together. Uh, I'm going to make a couple more lines. You want to make kind of a thick, kind of bushy kind of lines here. Whoosh, that was not very good. There we go. That one's better. That one's better. That's better. That's better. That's better. Okay, so let me put a little bit more bright colors in there. Okay, here we go. So that doesn't look like much, but the way to make hair is to use an art brush. So if you remember, I think I demonstrated how to use an art brush at one point. So if I made some hair let me get a person in here let me import a person did we make somebody last class yes. who's who's mark jonah hamill. oh there he is mark hamill there we go okay so i'm gonna take this hair and save it i'm gonna save it as hair like that Then I'm going to make it into an art brush. Um, well, actually, let's copy it. I'm going to copy it and put it in this one. I need it over here. There it is. There it is. So uh, for this hair, I'm going to make it an art brush. So I'm going to select the hair and then go to object, or I meant uh, brushes, brushes in the brushes window. So again, I made a bunch of lines, and I'm going to go to New Brush, New Brush, and I'm going to use an art brush, an art brush, and um, you can see that the brush is going to follow this line like this. You want to say stretch to fit the stroke length, stretch to fit the stroke length. So again, art brush, and we're going to call this hair brush. And then I'm going to hit OK. Here it is right there. So if I use my paintbrush now, and I'm going to deselect this for a moment. I'm going to use my paintbrush for a moment. If I come over here to my Mark Hamill, 
I'm going to use this brush I just made. And as I drag, I'm going to kind of drag and drag and drag. It'll follow the hair like that. As you can see, drag, 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 drag. And so I can drag this hair. Let's put it on top of his head here. There he is. Mark Hamill has hair now. Um, what's that? Uh, he maybe he'll give us a free ticket to the movie. There it is. But as you can see, an easy way to get hair is to use the brush hair. Now this isn't the greatest, but you can do real small. Look, a little small like that to give you some bushy hair or long, it follows the length of the hair. Look at that. And it curls it. So again, this is called a art brush. That's one way of doing it. And um, boy, that looks pretty fun, isn't it? Okay, another type of brush you can use is called the scatter brush, and this might be for your stubble. Who does the? Uh, who wants to like stubble face face yeah. stubble kind of thing, right? So um, again, you're kind of making a pattern. Um, you could sort of do a little pattern on on how you think it should look. You can use made objects. You can use the pen tool. You can use simple shapes like that if you want ellipses. You can do you know. Oh, let me zoom in here. And let's do black circle, and you, and you can make little stubble. And let's duplicate that. Du really? Duplicate that. Let's change the size. Duplicate that. Change the size. Duplicate that. Change the size. Duplicate that, change the size, duplicate that, duplicate that, duplicate that. Okay, so um, make yourself a little kind of pattern like that, right? Make a pattern and then change the color a little bit so not everything is the same color. Uh, make it change it a little bit. Okay, a couple ways that you might want to try and do stubble, of course, is using the um, use the the scatter or the um, symbol brush. Remember this one right here, the symbol brush. So I can select all this and make it into a symbol, a symbol, and so we can make that into a symbol and call this symbol stubble, stubble. stubble so again we have a little stubble there then you could take that stubble and make it into a brush right here again if you remember this one it's called the symbol sprayer tool I think we showed that at the very beginning of the semester and I can then spray the stubble on the problem is is it, it sticks into a pattern see how it's kind of a pattern and, it, and the way to adjust the pattern is to use the um, symbol shifter tools or the symbol scruncher where you can then go and scrunch it a little bit like that so you can do something like that or you can change the size of it so there's some big stubble or a little small stubble there with that one as well or the uh, spinner is not going to really help too much uh, what is this one strainer symbol screener tool I don't know what that does Oosh. did something it made it kind of subtle so what do you think kind of a stubble kind of looking like that it's not too bad again using a the technique for this one was using the um, make a little pattern of how you think the stubble would look make it into a symbol and then use the symbol sprayer tool put some stibble down and then you can use these options to adjust it so it's not so um not it's it, the problem is it makes it look patterny that's a word patterny another way you might go about it is to use the brushes again if i select this this time i'm going to use a brush again uh i think 
you know, the, the symbol sprayer tool is maybe a little easier. The brush, if I take this and drag it into the brushes again, it's going to ask me what kind of brush. You got scatter brush, art brush, or pattern brush. Uh, pattern brush might work. Let's try the scatter brush first. And um, it has different ways of fixing the size and scatter, random, uh, random sizes, and you can adjust it. I don't know. And then um, when you're done, you hit OK. And then to use that, again, it's a brush. You can then do this kind of thing like this. Again, it's called the, um, what did I just say it was called? Um, scatter brush, right? Scatter brush. So it takes that, that pattern and, and, and puts it around like that. OK, and it puts it in a, in a stroke, basically. Okay, it's called the um, what did I just say? Scatter brush, right? So let's try another one. Um, again, I'm going to select this, and the other one was. Um, Is there any way to make the dots smaller, like after you made it into a pattern watch? Um, like say, like you, you, you said, I do like the way this looks, but it's a little bit big compared to the space. Can you scale it smaller? So um, not, I don't think afterwards. I don't know. There's a point size here. I don't know if this will adjust it. We'll try. I don't know if it, I couldn't tell if it changed. Hold on. Let me pull one away. Uh, again, maybe the point size might adjust it. Let's try. Cause right now it's at one point, right? So maybe if we did half, yeah, that worked. So it's being adjusted by the stroke size, right? The size of the stroke. So yeah, that might work. Or you can make it smaller and do it again, right? Just drag this and make it even smaller, smaller, and then then do it again. Make another brush out of it. This time I'm going to try the other one, the pattern brush. New brush, pattern brush, and that kind of you can see what it's going to do is it's going to put this down in a pattern as you draw. Again, it's going to be putting it down in a pattern like that. OK. So that was pattern brush. Uh, let's try one more. Um, what was the other one? Uh, new brush. Uh, oh, we did scatter, right? Did we do scatter? And we did art brush. We didn't do calligraphy brush. How about bristle brush? Let's try that one. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to work. We'll try the default. Yeah, no, that's for. Yeah, not for a pattern. Which one do you think was best, the, this one or this one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I, I've seen people try doing the same thing without circles, but then they would use the stubble, right? So instead of using circles for the pattern, you would use your pencil tool and give yourself a bunch of little lines, right? Give yourself a little stubble pattern here. So, what do you mean? Do you make these smaller, even smaller? Yeah, I guess you could. It would make them into really tiny. So this one I'm going to go and um, it, remember how to adjust your stroke. Is There is a pop-up stroke window right here. Stroke. Right in the, oh, in the pop-up stroke window. In the stroke window, you can actually go and adjust the edges so they're round. Right, remember this round cap. Remember the round cap right here. And then um, you can go and let's change some colors here. Let me adjust some colors. So you can make yourself a little stubble brush, and then uh, again, probably the easiest way is either to use the uh, brush, the scatter brush, or use the symbol sprayer tool. I think you might have a little bit more um, features with this. The problem is it kind of looks, it just doesn't look right. Most of the people that do make nice hair try do it by hand, you know. But again, a scatter brush might work. 
Uh, in the scatter brush, you have the ability to randomize the size, so some is bigger than others, and you have to adjust this. And then um, spacing is between it, and then scatter um, and rotation if you want to rotate. I know you have to try some of these and in fact the colorization will change the color as you go along as well. That will actually shift the color if you want as you're doing it. So um, again that was that didn't work did it? Give me an error message didn't it? Oh no there, it did work. So let's try it. Um, let's get rid of this and let's go to our brush. We're gonna use this brush. Woo! So it kind of has a, a feel, and then of course what I would do is if I had this, did this, I can't select this without selecting this thing under, underneath it. Okay, this pissed me off. Okay, I put all this stuff down and I cannot select it. Again, you can use the opacity to tone it down so it's not so dramatic um, using your appearance window. And of course, turning the opacity down. Yeah, I didn't get them all. So, in addition, you can blur. Oh. So, maybe blur it a little bit if you want. So, if you have used a stubble brush, like there's a stubble brush there. You can also blur it a little bit if you want to, so it's not so um, dramatic. So maybe change the opacity. Okay, so I don't know. Stubble in here is difficult. Drawing hair is difficult. Um, you can also do, you know, very, you know, big, instead of doing lines like I did here with lines with the hair here, you can also do shapes where you can do a shape. And so... I can go and let me adjust the shape here. Let me get up some color. No stroke. Let me make another shape. make that a different color so instead of this um, you can actually make something like this into an art brush as well I didn't I would actually make more than just two shapes probably a couple layers of color together but you can actually take something like this and make that into and let me let me rotate this so it's up like that you can actually make something like this into an art brush as well by going into the brushes and taking this and making that into an art brush you'll see how it's gonna draw it like that and then you can use that as an art brush as well and so you can get you might want to do more layers but you can see you get a starting point so instead of having to do just a bunch of lines you can actually do shapes like this as well right that's sort of how this student did this. She said she made this a brush. Um, a brush. So it's this, the one with the black, the nice black hair. Did you see that one? Yeah, just simple shapes for hair. Most people do. 
And look at the hair on this one. These two have her nice hair, right? Both of these have nice hair. It's kind of an art brush, right? You can see that the color goes to the And this student said this was a brush. See how the brush is? So that was a brush, too. So both of these are kind of art brush. I just don't, I don't make good art brush. Okay, but it's the same technique where you draw a shape and then as you draw, you pull it, it goes the length of it. So it looks like she was like stuck in a flat square or something, like stripes going through it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So here, look at these. These are the best hair probably in my, my group here over there. It's hard to see them. Especially if somebody like me doesn't have any hair. I'm not very good at making hair, right? Are there any examples? Okay, let's do, uh, um, we did eyes, we did mouth. Well, let me just talk about ear for a moment. Everybody's afraid of an ear. So again, hair is difficult. I know it's hard. I know hair. Hair is hard. Um, this is this is actually very good hair. If you could find this hair and download it, wherever this hair comes from, this is really good hair. Yeah. If you could find that hair and download that, whoosh. You can alter it. You, how you would, if you download this, it downloads as an Illustrator file, okay. and you then open it, and then you can adjust it. So you can expand. Remember using expand, and then change the color of the lines. This is basically lines. Okay. I don't know. There's some really. I was say that you just found yeah, I used to. No, you need the vector stuff. Yeah. It's hard. I, I used to get, it used to be easy to download. They used to have a spot where you could put the download, but now they don't really have that anymore. So uh, let me get somebody else up here. How about we do Bill Gates? Okay. The Bill Gates ear. How about we do the Bill Gates ear? And, they, and I will cut it off like Van Gogh style. So again, um, to do an ear, I just want to show ear real quick and then we can be done if you want. Um, to do an ear, it's kind of a little bit tricky. Uh, what I've done with the ear is just use a lot of um, solid shapes that are blended. So just like we were doing before, um, again, I would use the pencil tool, kind of go around. Let me go around the whole thing here. And make a shape. Um, what was that? What was that key on the keyboard they were doing? Was it option? Hold on. Oh no, under layers. Remember in the tutorial, the guy in making the tutorial, he would turn off the. No, it's not eyeball. It's option click, right? Was it? No. Yeah. What, what was he? Doing? Yeah, I forget how they were changing this. It would keep the outline. Do you remember that? Mm. Whatever. Yeah, I, I. Oh, you don't know how to bring it back? Is that what you're saying? Um, you might be under effects, um, uh, under view, outline. Oh, but that covers the photo. I There was a, a technique they, they were using. I swear it was option, wasn't it? Click in the. No. I don't know. I'm confused right now myself. Whatever. I need to suck up the color. So again, we did one big color. And then again, <clears throat> highlight areas. And then dark areas.
highlight area, dark area, highlight area, dark area, highlight area, darker area, highlight area. And so, you know, just using the, the colors that you see here. Now, I know I drew them all the same color because I was quickly doing this, but then, you know, if this is a highlight area, I can use my eyedropper and suck up a bright color. And then um, for a dark area, like this would be a, a dark area. And we could turn the eyeballs off if we want, just turn them on as we're going along. So that's the solid background. This one is a highlight area, so I can select it and give that a nice bright color and then uh, this one is a is a dark area yeah it's a dark one we give that you know select that and give that a dark dark color and then for uh, this one that is going to be a, a highlight color there and so we can use the eyedropper on that and give it a nice bright color there and then this one is a dark one there and I can give that a, a kind of a dark color as well and then this one is going to be, is that a highlight? Uh, that's a medium color, we can sort of give that a medium color and then this one is is a dark color give that a kind of a medium dark and then this one was a highlight color so I can give this a highlight color as well nice bright highlight color there and then this one was a dark darker color and then this last one was a highlight color Okay, so, you know, I basically made a bunch of shapes for the ear here, as you can see. It looks like a mess, right? But if we zoom out a little bit, it, it kind of has the look of an ear. kind of has a look of an ear. But the key here is, I know it looks like an elf. It looks like an elf ear. But uh, the key here is that you can then just blur it. And that's what I use, That's what I would do in this case. You have a bunch of shapes that are kind of, and, and the, the reason why I say blurred, and the ear is kind of a, like a dark, kind of scary area of the face, right? Ears are dark and scary. And they're usually further away from, you know, when people take pictures, they usually use depth of field, right? Where the face is usually in focus, but, you know, think things behind are tend to be a little bit further away and blurrier. So you can kind of get away with blurring the, 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 the ear a little bit. And if you just blur some of the, um, blur it like that, um, it'll tend to um, work, you know. So, what's that? Yeah, yeah, probably don't blur this one. Yeah, keep that solid and then blur the rest. delete that so uh, I mean that's an easy quick way of doing an ear is to do that and you know, very similar for uh, hands as well um, the other thing I've seen students do for um, instead of having to use the gradient mesh I know we were using a gradient mesh on Mark Hamill the other day uh, is just to use simple gradient you know, instead of using gradient mesh, just you make objects that have simple gradients in them um, that blend well together just like that without having to do that. And um, let me see if I can go get some more samples. <laughs> 